So Beijing Aerospace Flight Control, there you see Chinese President Xi Jinping emerging. Now he is accompanied by senior Politburo members and officials from the military. There you see Han Zheng, Vice Premier, and uh, Liu He, Vice Premier of the State Council. Mr. Ding Xuexiang, senior Politburo member, and also Xu Qiliang, Vice Chairman of the Central Military Commission, and Mr. Wei Fenghe, Minister of National Defense. Uh, they are all there about to witness history being made, a ground-to-space video call between the president and the three astronauts. And Beijing Aerospace Flight Control Center is actually the command center for the Chinese space program, which includes the Shenzhou mission. There you see President Xi Jinping taking his position, observing the flights in orbit now. That's the vice premier of the country, Mr. Han Zheng. There you see the two astronauts there. Let's listen in. Welcome to your Tenerife Flight Mission. This is the ground control center for the space flight mission. On the screen ahead of us, for the middle screen, you are seeing the real-time image from the cabin. Right now, the astronaut Liu Boming and Tang Hongbo, they are inside of the module. They are actually assembling and testing the astrovehicular spacesuit. From the left side, for the screen, it shows astronaut Nie Hai Sheng is inside of the cab cabin. He is conducting the operation and start to operate the robotic arm for the astrovehicular activities. On the right side of the screen, you are seeing the real-time image outside of the module. Now you could see the length of the robotic arm is 9.5 meters. It will help for the assembling and will support the astronauts to conduct astrovehicular activities. For the other screens, there are some of the calculations and data of the space flight. From the left screen, you could see for the complex is operating and within the tracking of the intermediate satellite. On the right side of the screen, you are seeing some of the 3D image. So by all the information, you could see the Shenzhou 12 and also you could see the Tianzhou cargo ship and the complex is in stable condition. Please check the assembling status. Please check the size of the inner part of the space suit. Shenzhou 12, this is Beijing. Please prepare for the video call with General Secretary Xi. All right, you're now watching the live picture. This is coming from the Tiangong Space Station. In just a few moments, the three astronauts are going to make a video call to the ground, and Chinese President Xi Jinping is going to talk to them. I mean, it's kind of a tradition for a sitting Chinese president to speak to Chinese astronauts on active duty in space via such a video call. As you can see, the two astronauts, uh, three astronauts, are making their way to position, ready to make that video call. Uh, president Xi has actually done such a call twice before. Uh, former President Hu Jintao has done so too. They were all together six missions before this one. Chinese presidents actually talked to Nie Hai Xiu on another mission. I believe it's Shenzhou 10 mission uh, back in uh, a couple years ago. Let's listen in. Beijing Minban.
Shenzhou twelve. This is a report from Beijing. Now we would like to have General Secretary of CPC Central Committee, Chinese President, Chairman of the Central Military Commission, Xi Jinping, to talk with you. Copy. Salute. Comrade Nia Hai Sheng, Comrade Liu Bo Ming, Comrade Tang Hong Bo, thank you for your hard work. On behalf of CPC Central Committee, State Council, Central Military Commission, and people of all ethnic groups in China, I would like to extend my sincere greetings to you all. Thank you. General Secretary, thank you all the Chinese people. You are the first crew to station in Tianhe core module. You will be staying in the space for three months. How's your work in the space and how's your life there? All Chinese people care about you. How's your physical condition? How's your life? Is the work going well? Thank you, General Secretary. We're in good health condition. The work is going well. It is my third time to participate in the space flight mission. Now the environment in the space is getting better. And for the Chinese astronauts, we have a home in the space. We are staying in the space, and we are proud of our motherland. For me, I'm the second time to participate in the space flight mission. I should have a responsibility and feel very proud to participate in this mission. And later, we will operate the robotic arms and two types of extravehicular activities. We will do our best to make sure we can fulfill all the tasks successfully. It is my first time to enter into the space. Now I'm getting used to the space environment. Also now I have a very normal daily routine. I can also have a video call with my family members. Our space family is very comfortable. We are confident to deliver all the subsequent missions. Good. We see you are in good condition. We are very happy to see you well. To build a space station is an important milestone for China's aerospace course. It will help the human beings to better utilize the resources in the space. So for the new era, you are the representative of the astronauts and aerospace staff in China. I hope you can work together, stay united, and work diligently to complete the subsequent missions successfully. Wish all of you well in your work and life in the space. In Beijing, all of us look forward to your return with victory. We will bear your instructions in mind. We will live up to the mission, and we will be determined to fulfill all the tasks and the missions. Rest assured. Salute. Shenzhou 12, this is Beijing. 
and the video call is completed. Please continue your subsequent missions. There you had it, the Chinese president making an Earth to space video call to the three Chinese astronauts on board the Tiangong space station. Uh, the president just extended his greetings to the crew, congratulating them on a successful mission so far, asking them how they felt working and living there in space. The astronauts each responded to the president a brief video call, but full of symbolism as the Communist Party of China prepares to celebrate the centenary of its founding in just a few days. I mean, this is history being made a great milestone for the country. There you see the president waving to the engineers and scientists there at the Beijing Aerospace Flight Control Center.